Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are really, really well. First of all, I just wanted to say I'm sorry there wasn't a video on Thursday. Um, I think what I'm going to do for the time being is do one video a week and then potentially have a bonus video on a Thursday if I can manage it. Um, obviously, pregnancy... Growing a baby is tough work, so <laughs> and if you don't know, yes, I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, growing a baby is tough work. So while all that is going on, um, I think I might bring you one video a week and then a bonus video. But welcome to this video. This is another of my highly requested videos. This is our morning or our daily routine um, with two Pomeranians. So if you don't know, we have Peppy and Oscar. Peppy is, I think she'll be four this year, which is mad. Um, so she is our first Pomeranian. She's my little baby. She, we've had her since she was eight weeks old. We met her when she was four weeks old. Um, and she's just, yeah, a little angel. And then we have Oscar, who is going to be two, I think, in summer. Um, and he is a Pomeranian rescue from Cyprus. Um, and we've had him about six months. He's a bit bigger than Peppy. Um, so Peppy is about three kilograms and Oscar is about seven kilograms. But yeah, they're both very, very different dogs. And you'll see that in our morning routines because they both have very different routines. It's pretty hilarious. Um, Peppy is very much like me and Oscar is very much like Ben. Oscar likes to get up and go and Peppy and I like a little bit of a lion and the finer things in life and a bit of a rest. <laughs> um, but anyway, I thought I would just introduce this video. But now you are going to see us being very, very sleepy. Um, so I will let you get on with the video. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm taking over the vlog this morning because we are doing our morning routine with the dogs. As you can tell from the voice and the eyes, I am still quite tired, just waking up. It's just before 7 a.m. Um, and what happens is I come downstairs, I take the dogs out first thing. Uh, Peppy goes up to Katie for a second nap because she's tiny and loves napping. And then I take Oscar out for a long walk just to burn off the energy. Um, but it's always my favorite time of day when I wake up and I see the dogs' faces smiling at me and they're so happy to start the day too. So basically what happens is as soon as they hear this gate go off and this baby gate is here because we want to keep Oscar um, in a certain space. Before we had him, Peppy had free reign um, and wouldn't really leave her bed. But since getting Oscar, we want to keep him in the kitchen. Uh, this is his space. So the baby gate goes on. And as soon as this opens, here we go. Good morning, dogs. Oh, good morning, Peppy. Good morning, Oscar. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? So he now stays in here for a few minutes and I take Peppy out on her own. Used to take them both outside together, but to be honest, it was chaos and they were bark. Okay, Peppy, when you're outside, come on in. In the toilet. Come on, the Good girl. Good girl. Go, Peppy, toilet time. Come on in. You can go. Come back. In the toilet. Somebody's tired this morning. Somebody's tired. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Toilet time. Uh, Peppy is now all done. She's very, very happy. Had her poo and her wee. Uh, and then I take her upstairs to Katie for her second nap because she deserves that. Good 
Oh, school, why'd you never want to get out of bed? Hey? Why do you always want to stay in your bed for? So every morning, Oscar insists on rolling over. Because he doesn't want to get out of bed. Because he likes his bed too much. But the thing is, once we're out, he absolutely loves, he loves to play. So, I don't know. It's always a mini battle every morning, isn't it, boy? You squashed in there. Good morning again, uh, a bit more awake this time, so out on the walk with Oscar, uh, off the lead, which is always good, it means he can burn off all of the excess energy, um, and I also take a ball too and throw that around, because he loves, loves, loves playing with the ball, and he's now sat there waiting for me to throw it for him, so I won't keep him any longer. Oski, come on, come on, come on in boy, come on. Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your coming Thought I was a man of my own, but It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear Cause you know I cannot see no deal Feeling like home But should it be like this? Look at that face, honestly, he, he knows what time it is. What time is it, boy? Hey? Did you want... Did you want... This? Yes? Yes? Go on, here, here! Good boy! Good boy! He hasn't quite mastered the art of bringing it back yet or dropping it, but uh, we're getting there. Can I have the ball this time, boy? No. Look at that tail go, you silly boy. Why don't you leave it? If you leave it, I can throw it. How does that sound, eh? He gets so protective over his ball, you silly boy. You silly boy. Okay, walkie is complete. Oscar is back there and he is, I don't even see him, he's just, down the little face there he is look you good boy um yeah thoroughly enjoyed his walk quick drive home and then hopefully Katie and Peppy have awoken from their slumber I'm awake. What are you looking at? <laughs> so I've just heard that Ben is home and Oscar is waiting outside the door. Excuse my hair. Excuse my face. Excuse um, my voice. I get really stuffy in the night at the moment. Apparently it's a very common side effect of pregnancy. Um, so I'm going to this little girl is so funny she waits on the edge of the bed for her brother and you'll see what happens in a second i'll open the door and oscar will want to say hello to me peppa will go straight in for the attack um but i need to put some clothes on because i've only got my t-shirt on and i'll see you in a second ben's home i love you too I'm about to record <laughs> as well look at this for a welcome yeah. hey look at this for a welcome oh bless you <laughs> oh bless you Oh, she's oh, in play dear, mode. Come, look. The little back leggies, little ah. swimmers. Ah. Did you have a nice walk? Yeah, very nice, very yeah. brisk. Cold. Quick half an hour. Uh, quick because I had to park up, and the parking ran out at eight o'clock. Uh, so 
Yeah, it was good though. But you had a nice time. Yeah, very good time. Good. And now we're back, Pippi. And she's just been snoozing. Haven't you, Pep? Did you snooze with me? My clothes piled up in the back. <coughs> no, it's the bat legs that get me. Always about legs. Ah. <laughs> These little things. So I can now hand over the filming duties back to Katie. Hope you've enjoyed my input. Um, these two. Peppy doesn't really move, does she, for the first no, half an hour of the day? She literally she just... Play, and then she likes to snooze She again. fights me and then basically goes, actually, it's far yeah, too early. To see her brother. I know. Madam. No, you can help me. Should we find your brother? There he is. Good morning, Oski. Good morning, Oski. Hi, darling. Hi, darling. <laughs> Hi, little attack dog. Hi, good morning, lovely. Oh, you beautiful boy. Hello. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too, my darling. Yes, I do. Oh. Hello, gorgeous boy. <laughs> I'm playing. boy <laughs> crazy crazy dog you want to come back inside I finished my cereal and there is a tiny bit of milk left. Look at this one. Is this what you want? <laughs> we can't forget Oscar too. Look at his eyes, how they bold when he does this. <laughs> that nice. That nice. Dogs, Oscar, are you hungry? Do you want some food? <laughs> now what happens, they've gone to their bed without me asking them to because this is the, this is just what we do with them. So now what they're going to do is wait in their beds until I've made their food and then I will feed them. You good puppies, you good boy, good girl. Okay, and on the menu today for Pepita, we have Wham Bam Lamb by Butternut Box. And then for Oscar, we have Kibble. And what we do for Peppy is give her a smaller portion of this with some kibble thrown in. She eats off a Nespresso plate and Oscar has his bowl. Okay, so that is their portion sizes. I've probably given Peppy a tiny bit too much there. Um, and then I'll put some boiling water in it just to warm it up for them. And that's their breakfast. Point of view, food camp. Very nice. This is really hard to film. <laughs> yeah.
There we go. Pepita's food. <laughs> and then we have, then we have Mr. Oscar's food. You happy boy, you gonna say it? Watch it, Ben. Watch me. Get on. Good dogs. Just watch how quickly he finishes his food. <laughs> always gone in seconds and she likes to eat in her bed so she'll take a piece scoot off to her bed and eat it <laughs> they both have such different personalities so yummy my freckles really come out on this camera um both dogs have finished their food, so I'm going to go and get ready for the day, brush my teeth, wash my face, put some makeup on. These freckles will get slightly covered, um, but I do quite like them. They always pop out in spring, summer. Um, oh, out of breath again. So yeah, gonna go get changed. Gonna go get ready for the day, get these dogs ready as well. I think we're gonna take them for a walk in a bit. So Ben's just popped to the gym when he comes back. We will um, get the dogs in the car and go for a wander. The dogs have found a stick in the garden and they are now playing tug of war over it. <laughs> they are so funny. I'm looking a little bit more put together now. It is so bright outside in the garden. We've just had vegetarian Rubens for lunch and I think the dogs are asking for their lunch normally we just give them what like a little snack or something normally yeah. literally just like a little treat yeah. that's like this big or one of their cookies or something he's passed out but she keeps coming over asking so you gonna get them one yeah go on then <laughs> daddy to the rescue oh look at this girl's face she knows I'm gonna bring the jar out here she knows. And he's even woken up. <laughs> they know. It's mad that they know, isn't it? Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Miss it down. Miss it. Happy sit. <laughs> Look at her paws. Pretty girl. Both her tongues are out. Sit. Pep sit. And Good she boy. takes it off. With their prey. Dogs. Okay, it's about six o'clock or six thirty and it is time. I think it's six oops, six thirty actually. It's time for these doggies to have their supper. They're already in their baskets, <laughs> waiting. So in the evening, we do a slightly different meal. Where can I put you? Maybe if I put you there, you good there? Um, so in the evening, we do a slightly different meal and they both get some butternut box. Basically what we do is we just try and keep the cost down. Peppy is, <laughs> Peppy's really fussy about food and she always has been. So we, have gone through so many different foods trying to get her to eat something and really, really struggled with it. And then we found Butternut Box and she absolutely loves Butternut Box. And then obviously we got Oscar as well and we were like, well, it's not fair that one dog has Butternut Box and the other doesn't. So we have the pouches, they're under Peppy's um, name. So we get them for Peppy, but in the evenings, Oscar gets Butternut Box and in the mornings he just gets his kibble but in the evenings he gets butternut box and kibble and then in the evenings Peppy has just butternut box and we don't do the kibble for her in the evenings. Very confusing but it makes sense to us um, and the dogs seem to be very happy that way and they actually eat their food. So the kibble we use, I think it's called Baker's. Um, yeah, it's Baker's like complete dog food and this is the only dry dog food they like. So, we have this one, although I think Oscar would pretty much eat anything, Peppy is fussy, so this is the one dry dog food we found that she will eat, and Butternut Box is the only wet dog food she will eat. But 
but she won't just eat the dry one on its own. So this is what we have to do. So let me put you over here and I'm gonna do their food. So Oscar tonight has gobble gobble turkey. And what I've done is just boiled the kettle as well. And I will put hot water in their food as well because Peppy tends to, excuse my, this mark, by the way, it's from my belt. I've had to remove my belt because it was getting a bit tense. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, I can't remember. I've lost my train of thought now. Um, oh, water. So I put a bit of extra water in their food because Peppy doesn't tend to drink a lot. And I'll just try and get the water into her any way possible. So this is what we do. We put it in her food and it always seems to work. So this food, by the way, butternut box, I've talked about it in the past. I have worked with them in the past, but this obviously isn't paid. Um, and I don't, I don't get it gifted or anything either. Um, but... <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. Um, but yeah, she, she loves it and she wolfs it down, but it is actually human grade food. So it's made in the UK, it's grain free, it doesn't contain any nasties and it's got rich flavor. So Peppy has freshly prepared lamb. So it's 60% minced lamb. So that's uh, minced lamb, lamb heart and lamb liver, carrots, sweet potatoes, split lentils, green lentils, green beans, cauliflower, broccoli, brewer's yeast, minerals, ground flaxseed, turmeric powder, dried rosemary and dried thyme. Um, and then Oscar has uh, turkey, carrot, sweet potato, green lentils, red split lentils, peas, cauliflower, broccoli, brewer's yeast, minerals, spinach, ground flaxseed and dried rosemary. Um, and we normally just keep these in the freezer and then pop them in the fridge when we want to use them. And they're great and the dogs absolutely love it. So happy days. Keeps everyone happy except Ben's bank balance because it's not cheap but it's good. Good dogs. Can't figure out what this little one wants now. She keeps jumping up, scratching my leg. Excuse my <laughs> house shoes, by the way. <laughs> what do you want? What can I do for you? What? Show me. Show me. Come on, what can I do? Oh, you want to go out? Are you telling me your brother's waiting to go out? Can you please not bark? Oh, <coughs> too late. <laughs> okay, come on then. <laughs> hey? Oh, it's playtime now, is it? Oh, it's playtime now. You little scampies. <laughs> You scampies, hello darling. Hello beautiful boy. Okay, I'm gonna get changed now into something a little bit cozier. Um, I'm gonna put a wash on and then I'm gonna cook supper for me and Ben. Then what we normally do is just sit down on the sofa and chill for the rest of the evening with the dogs. Um, they curl up, but I will pick you back up when it is time for their pudding later because they both get a little cookie. They expect it. They know it's going to happen. <laughs> um, and if we forget, they get very upset. So yeah, I'll pick you back up when it's pudding time in a bit. Dogs, do you want your cookie? Do you want a cookie? Oh. You get a cookie? Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on then. <laughs> so this is what they are after. This is the cookie jar. These are dog cookies. They're chocolate and peanut butter, I think. Obviously, do not contain any chocolate whatsoever. They look like this, and the dogs get one each for their pudding. Can you sit? One, two. And then they take it off to their separate little areas. Oscar always goes and sits on the, oops, you can't see, sits on the stairs. And then Peppy will be in here on her little kill mat. This one's for Say yummy. You good girl. 
Okay, we have finished our programme for the evening. We're still watching Billions at the moment. Um, and it's time for Oscar to go on his evening walk. Ben takes him out every evening. So he goes out in the morning and the evening because he actually refuses to go to the toilet in the garden, doesn't he? He really does, He yeah. very, very rarely goes to the toilet in the garden. Obviously, he'll go for a number one, but not a number two. Um, and Peppy takes herself off to bed. So Peppy has actually gone to bed what two hours ago <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> she takes herself off to her bed whereas oscar is down in front of me sleeping on the sheepskin rug but yeah ben's gonna take him out now i'm gonna sign off this vlog now but don't go anywhere because you will see in the final scene um the puppies getting tucked into their bed which is honestly just the cutest thing ever because they both expect it every single night and it's just so sweet um, I'd love to know if you tuck your dogs in to bed because honestly we've done it what since Peppy was a puppy literally from from day dot yeah, yeah and she loves it and she like oh you'll see you'll see anyway but um yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next Sunday for another video bye Peppy try to go to the toilet and then we'll go to bed you need to go to the toilet, darling. <laughs> you can't just go to sleep. Come on. Can you go to the toilet? Right, come on, I'll carry you. Come on then, sweetheart. Come on, sweetie pie. No, come on, you have to go to the toilet. Come on, don't make this difficult for me. Come on. <laughs> I know you're tired. You can go to sleep after you've had a wee. Otherwise you'll need a wee in the night. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl, come on. I'll carry you. I'll carry you. Oh, there's a good girl. Oh, good girly. Bosky, good boy. And then she go to bed. She go to bed, darling. Good girl. Oh, baby, do Vasil. I'm sorry, I've got to untuck you to tuck you in. It's all twisted. Cozy. Oh, little boy. I think he's wondering what I'm doing. Darlings, I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Love you. Bye bye. What do I want to want? Maybe I should keep rolling in silence.